In this video, we're going to look at how to use both sliders and lists to generate a series of functions based on rules that you come up with. So let's get started. So we're looking at exponential functions here. So if I have f of x equals a times, I'll say 2 to the x, just to model something, plus d. Now, it, it does offer to add sliders for everything, but I just want to add a slider for a. And for d, now it's worried right now, too many variables, try defining d. We have to give d a definition, so we're going to define it as a list. Now for d, to get a list, I type equals, and then I type square brackets to start a list. Notice right now it says there are no elements in the list because nothing's there. So if I type zero, now I've got something on the list. But if I type comma one, I get two values for D and they're both graphed right there. Now I can type in two, three, four, and five to get a whole series of these functions here. And then I can modify A. Now, that being said, there are other things we can do. Maybe I have a longer list. Let's say I want to go up to 10. Do I really have to type in six, seven, eight, nine, ten? 10? No. Once I establish the pattern of, of going up by one, I can type in dot, 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 10, and I get the list. All right, it follows that pattern. If I want to go up by twos, I establish that, and it has increments of two. If I just type in zero dot dot 10, it assumes you can see that's going up by ones, right? Because the intercepts are one apart. And you can go into negative values as well. And this is how you set up a list. So try this out on your own in the next slide. Set this graph up. I hope it helps.